Hello my friends, welcome back to the Legacy of the Void Randomizer. So what ended up happening in the last mission is that I I tried deleting the files of the randomizer and then installing the new one, and for some reason that didn't prompt me to activate the new one after I installed it. I don't know why, but that is why the bonus objective didn't give the proper stuff. I'm hoping today things are going to work. So we don't have any management to do, we're just going to head straight into the magical adventure known as... Uh, Brothers in Arms, that's what it's called. <laughs> My head was like, Sisters in Legs, and I was like, no, no, Grant, no. That was the Legacy of the Meme version of this mission. <laughs> that's not the actual one. Let's do this. So we're going to be unlocking some actually very nice units. Alright, so the Immortal is usually a little bit better than what we're getting here. It tends to be at the top tier of the, <laughs> of the bulky robotic units. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go for a mix of forces. One thing I'm very excited about on this mission is actually, oh gosh, we have to kill Hybrid with Quilgore, huh? We gotta figure this one out quick. Hmm. One thing that is nice is the Immortal is technically on this as a potential thing to get. However, it is. <laughs> It is way cheaper than that, the entire tier is, so we could theoretically get lucky. This disruption has hit my we're going to have to get we'll lucky real quick, because I'm scared of the hybrid. Do what you can to keep them at bay. Oh All good, the Quilgore does uh, 6 DPS. Cool. If you can rescue them, I'll return any Protoss technology they Just try to, to kill... Kill him with Senator Slaps. Oh, Senator Slaps is dead. I want the medics so bad. Okay. I mean, we didn't lose much there. Let's be completely honest. It's not like it was good units that fell. Oh, yeah, I guess we could have burrowed it, but it wouldn't really have mattered. We could, uh, I could have microed that better. I didn't think about that. For some reason, the idea that an aberration can burrow is very weird to me. And it's not, like, immediately intuitive. <laughs> okay, yeah. Bonus objectives work. There we go. So now, we actually have a front line that is going to supplement the back line. War pigs are going to be great here. I really hope that my Terran units don't get stunned. Just, just throwing that out there. As soon as I thought about it, that could be bad. <laughs> just imagine... <laughs> This mission would be impossible. We have Stim on the War Pigs. We're probably going to have to use it. Hey, this is even a little bit more frontline. Things are just weirdly kind of starting to work out. We can get another Robo as well. So we can Chrono both of them, and then we'll have Warp Gate stuff to supplement. Great. Let's uh, try our best here. I am... Full of concern. What does the Cybercore finish? It's really soon. Another Ursidon Matriarch. Now, if I remember, Mommy hits hard. Yes, yeah, she does. Oh, Mommy got those slaps. Oh, it's just like real life. Let's do this. Don't question my childhood. It was a good upbringing. Don't shoot the... No, oh, they were rude. We're getting a lot of neutral things. <laughs> okay. Pull back. These activated. Bring this forward. Mito Scarab. And we're going to have to bombard these guys from orbit because there's too many of them. Yeah, I got it. Oh, they do not like the war pigs. Interesting. Yeah, they're like selectively targeting those down. That is very odd. Also, Mito Scarabs, come on, bud. You gotta help. Uh, this... <laughs> it was a hold. It wasn't... It wasn't a good one. The Dominion is engaging Mobius Corps. We got three kills on the Ursidon Matriarch, and they're all hybrid. <laughs> She is quite 
<laughs> the matriarch. That's amazing. I'm very proud of her. We're going to reroll this. Hopefully we can get... Yeah, warp and reinforcements is a nice one. It's really the good one. And now we're going to have to grab some forge upgrades. Do I want to just get them out of the way real quick? I think I do. Because this mission does get harder and harder as time goes on. I don't... Uh. Get a Mercedon Matriarch. Alright. Uh, this is really bad. Oh, a corpser! Oh, yeah, corpses! Get him, get him, get him! Oh, that guy's gonna have a bad life. Oh, we got the Ravager at least. And we got an actual immortal. <laughs> I probably should have built some cannons here to defend. That would have been the smart solution. And then take down the raven before it regenerates. How long is this? 160. So if we get it right now, it should be ready around the time that the bonus shows, or that the next attack wave shows up. And then we're just gonna have to get as many units as possible. We need more minerals. We're very mineral starved at the moment. This base is basically saturated. The main one is the one that's not doing great. So Ravagers are pretty good. We're going to be able to put some serious damage out. Multiple Ravagers is making it easier to micro them too. I like that a bunch. And then we're going to get a couple more of these gateways. Maybe we should go for cheap units to supplement the big bulky ones. Instead of going mid-tier. We're going to give that a try. Just get as much out as possible in terms of bodies. And the next attack is at the bottom, so we can get a little bit into position. But I think that now we have two bases for mining, and that's going to set us up for a very nice long-term future. Baneling's okay. Gotta get the Quilgore in the front. The thing about the Quilgore is she is very tanky. 325 HP, uh, no armor, which is a bit sad. But she definitely has a role. It's just that she's ranged, so you have to manually kind of put her up there. And that can be easy to forget. I think we might, might need some more robos as well. Maybe just one more. We should attack them once our allies are safe. And then... Doo -doo 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 -doo. All the units in the world come to my aid. I really need it. Oh, a diamondback is great. So if things get too bad, we can actually use the Diamondback to kite enemies around. These hybrid for long periods of time. That's what you do in Legacy of the Void Terran Edition. That's really nice. And it would only take one. We pull everything back. Fire the volleys at that guy. I love Ravagers. They're such a good unit. Now pull back a bit. Just wait for these biles. Okay, biles are off cooldown. We can fire the Annihilator shot. We can completely miss with the Ravagers. What a great unit. Absolutely not user error. And then take this down. This is the way to do it. This feels so much stronger. Utilizing the big long range damage dealers in tandem with really just Piglisks. I don't care about anything else. Figulus are amazing. Uh, then we can continue to push. Now they probably are going to attack us again. I'm going to try to take down this little area and then allow Valerian to put his troops there as we move to defend. Fire that to hit both. All right, let's pull back. Dominion SCVs, establish a fortification line here. <gasps> Warhounds, nice. Those are one of my favorite units to get because there's like no places in StarCraft to play with these bad boys. They don't do anything really. They're just kind of an A-move unit, but that's fine. <laughs> They're cool. I'm actually banking up a lot of cash. I guess it's because I'm getting such cheap units out of the gateway. Oh, uh, Valerian? What about taking this base, bud? 
Did you think about that one? No? You're not interested? You usually do. Alright. Well, you know. you It's your life, not mine. This is the attack wave? I think it is. Some of those biles. It's just so gratifying to hit things with Ravager biles, you know? It takes a little bit of prediction work, and you get to ignore whenever you mess up, but then when it does work, you feel like an absolute legend, like you just MIT'd them. That's always the best feeling. We're gonna get some of these mid-range units, just because I need the ability to spend my money faster, and I don't want to build even more production structures. I'm already on six gates and three robos. Let's get this area for Jim while we wait. I don't remember where the next attack is, if it's the top or the bottom. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack this way. Oh, don't go after Mr. Corpsey. Oh no, Mr. Corpsey. No, oh. my prince. We're up to three Ravagers though. That's pretty good. Oh, dude, if you guys aren't in the uh, Giant Grand Games Discord, you don't know yet, but I can show you. Remind me, I'm going to have to like re-render this video because I want to show you my best friend. I got a new best friend yesterday, and he's just wonderful. Okay, I'm going to... Yeah, so stick around to the end of the video to see uh, Brosidon. Do, do, do. We're going to head down here, and I think we're just going to slaughter through everything. Well, he tried to take that base. He did his best, I guess. I think we can wait until the end here. Oh, no, Mr. Ravager. We can wait until the second wave to fire off this temporal field. There's definitely something very fascinating going on with target priority in this, because various things in the back are getting target fired pretty consistently. Okay, freeze, freeze, freeze. This is going to reduce their movement and attack speed by 50%. Because they are heroic. And then we're going to use this time to just melt our way through the base over here. Because this will give Valerian the ability to make Thors? Battlecruisers. Jim is Thors. So take down the defenders. We don't care about the buildings yet. Just uh, finish everything off nice and clean. Easy peasy. Good thing you've got our backs. Yeah, Valerian is going to be great now. <laughs> I hope. We're going to sit here this time until he gets his buildings operational. He needs a little bit more babysitting than I thought. But then we can go do the bonus objective and start getting some fun stuff again. I get some more robos as well. Because we're about to max, which means we can uh, have overmax potential. Overmax not being a thing, it's just a word that I made up. But <laughs> it alludes to the idea of being able to quickly reinforce your max, which is not what that would mean if it were a term. It would be like using drones to make uh, buildings go over your max supply and then cancel them all. But you know what? We're going to call this the overmax. Uh, man, they send a lot of fire bats. We're just waiting for these SCVs to turn up so they can actually build these bunkers. Here, one of them has arrived. He's got the bunker going. We still need to get this darn Solarite. One thing that is worth mentioning is that Solarite is not actually useless, I believe. I uh, did a little bit of testing, and I'm not sure if it's just Solarite or completing the missions over time. But you do get increased Spear of a Dune energy regeneration as you progress through the campaign. And I think that it's tied to your Solarite. But it might not be, because I didn't I didn't test that much. <laughs> I literally just timed out on mission four versus on the host to see how much energy you regenerate in a minute or whatever. But I'm gonna grab the Solarite and the bonuses, A for the fun units, and B for the potentially increased energy regeneration. Duck wings. Nice. I'll send them to support the Emperor's They're going to hit hard. And now we're really getting the good stuff coming out. We have a great army. Uh, Matt, crew your bunkers, boy. This is why you have so many problems. This is why your father wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of you, Matt. 
or you're not Matt, you're Valerium. Whatever, we've never seen Matt and Valerian in the same place. I'm actually not sure if we have. It would make sense if we have, but now that I think about it, that's a conspiracy. We have a solar lance over here. I'm going to try to take down this research facility first, just for the bonus, and then we can come in and flank them. They're going to be stuck up here doing their stuff. And we'll hit them from behind, and they'll be very shocked and confused. I just want to see what our final thing is. I believe we get a better bonus at the final objective. <laughs> Torn Marines! Mmm, these guys are going to be pretty good. Alright, now what we want to do is Solar Lance. And suddenly, there's not much enemy left. Cloak these. And push on forward. Man, Torn Marines are going to be so good. They hit, like, I believe they do, like, 24 damage at the normal stats of a Marine. They're insane. 24, yeah. Absolute madness. I wish I had some ability to heal my forces because they're about to die. <laughs> Take this guy down. He is the scary one. His abilities have a cooldown. Got him. We can keep moving forward. Clear this area out for Jim, which will allow him to build the force. And push this way. It's very interesting because you get a weird amalgamation of things at first, but generally when you end up with a maxed army, it's got all the component pieces to it. Which is just nice. Uh, except the support units, obviously. We're going to have to get them. Maybe a couple spell casters would be nice, but overall, pretty good. Have you started... Oh yeah, he's got battlecruisers now. And he's going to slowly start whittling down these enemy hybrid from energy because the hybrid dominators do not regenerate energy in Starcraft for whatever reason. So, our boy is dead. <laughs> the Mito Scarab died and it knocked up the battle cruiser, but it looked like he just got very excited about his Yamato can. He was like, look, I fired it. Yay. <laughs> uh, we're taking a lot of losses jump or busting into here, by the way. It's probably going to be worth it because we can take down the production facilities, and those are... Oh, the flank! The Mito Scarab flank! The greatest flank that no one ever needed. We need to take down this production, though. It's not just a benefit, it's a requirement. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Yeah, Jim is doing a great job clearing through the center. These are going to fall. And this mission looks like it has been cleaned up pretty well. I'm happy with it. Uh, I was definitely a bit scared at the beginning, but in the end, it wasn't that bad. I'm going to get a couple more of these guys. Got to make sure we're chronoing the one that we're chronoing. And let's just help out because I am still actually very scared of the hybrid dominators. The immortals are like specially designed to beat them, which means that we're going to probably need some allied help to make sure that the fight goes cleanly and we don't accidentally lose stuff and then a big hybrid wave comes and kills us. This is proxy pylon. Yeah, I don't want deploy pylon. Wait, proxy pylon. It got renamed. It's usually deploy pylon. I like proxy pylon better. It's very, uh, it's a way to introduce the lingo StarCraft 2, but also is correct. Blizzard, take notes. Here, pull these back. Annihilator cannons, they're coming from the south, but hopefully everything won't go south. The Archons are actually shredding, look at this. Archons are one of those units in Legacy of the Void that are so strong, and they're never worth getting. But when you just randomly have Archons, they're really good. Like, kind of ridiculously good. Where's the next wave? Hello? Hybrid? Are you ready to fight? There we go. Make sure that all three of these blasts are hitting the Dominators. 
<laughs> and then we can start trying to end this. I always enjoy this mission. I think this is one of the better made missions in StarCraft. It's just... It's just good, you know? It's not super complicated, but it's got very nice stuff to it. You feel like you're working with your allies, which is great. A lot of different ways to approach it. Torn Space Marines. It's just wonderful. And we were able to take that fight, but if we weren't, we would have had the backup of these battlecruisers, so... It allowed me to be a bit more aggressive. And we did it. Wonderful. Alrighty. So, we can go to either Shakoros or Glacius next, and I'm going to take user input for which of the missions that's going to be. Uh, so, whoever has the best justification, I... Well, I'll be honest, probably the person that says, Grant, all you have done this entire run is said that you really would like to have some support units, <laughs> and one of the options is finally to have the support units. So let's go to Shakuras instead. <laughs> That'll be the one that I pick. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And right here, I'm going to give you pictures of my new best friend who has finally joined my family. He's a rescue oxlotl. So, you know, <laughs> it's been, we're going to have a great journey together. Peace.